Hey guys, welcome to Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Samkoviak, and today we're going to be talking about the Tacta Saddle Adapt Saddle. Now, before we get going, because I did another review on a Tacta Saddle last year, and a lot of you guys, oh, he don't know how to hunt out of a saddle, he did, blah, blah, blah. I said it then, and I'm going to say it now. I'm going to say it. I am not a saddle hunter, okay? Hear me carefully. I do not hunt out of a saddle. Do not hunt out of a saddle. I am not a saddle hunter. Understand that, okay? But because of the fact that I do have a YouTube channel with reach of thousands of people, and uh, a best friend of mine for the last 25 years builds one of the best saddles out there, and everybody I know that has them loves them, I have no problem recommending this and talking about it. Now this is a brand new one, okay? Brand new Tactus Saddle Adapt Saddle, and there are some things that this saddle does that'll straight up blow your mind, um, and uh, we're gonna cover that, as well as some of the things that he's doing that are total game changer that we're gonna save for the end here. So that way you're kind of forced to watch the whole video rather than watching half of it and thinking that you know what you're talking about. So the point of this is to teach you about this new system he has, and understand that John Tucker, who runs Tactus Saddle, has been hunting out of a saddle longer than most of the people that make saddles have even been in the woods since they were in diapers. I've known John now for almost 30 years and for almost 30 years he has exclusively hunted out of saddles. Even when they stopped building the original trophy lines and things like that and there were no other saddles out there, he was making his own and he's been making his own ever since. And it wasn't until a year or two ago when I was actually able to convince him to bring these to market. They are incredible. Another couple of things to note is that with John Saddles, they are 100% built to you, regardless of what size you are. He makes saddles in size 54 inch waist, okay? He builds them to your specs one at a time, okay? So when you call him and you or you put in an order on his website, he's gonna ask you all these dimensions and specs on your body and he's going to build that saddle to custom fit you 100%. To relieve pinch points, to make things perfect, there is no one size fits all, he knows that and uh, he's got that covered and also, What's really neat about these Tactus saddles is John, in his everyday job, um, in his career, he has access to automotive testing equipment where he tests these things and the braking strengths and on seatbelt machines and all these different things and he's able to test these on some pretty serious levels. So these are the highest quality saddles I've ever seen before and they are amazing. And this little stuff that he puts in there we're going to talk about are, are just game changing things in the saddle world. They're so innovative and so many details packed into these that it'll straight up blow your mind. And, and I, I, again, I don't hunt out of a saddle so take it for what it's worth but understand it as far as you know I know John and I know that he's the kind of guy I watch him do it every year multiple weeks a year weeks or in a row 10 days 14 days in a row of doing all day sits in these saddles okay not not sit you know for a half hour a day you know three hours a season kind of stuff and act like you know what you're talking about like some of these guys are out there I, I see all kinds okay telling you when it comes to saddles he knows what he's doing he knows what he's talking about and he doesn't want to be too big he wants to be a small company that specializes in custom made highest quality saddles that are out there so take that in, into consideration now with again me not being a saddle hunter throughout this i will be showing you some of the things from his brochure that will explain this in detail even though I don't know how to hunt or I don't hunt out of a saddle, I know enough about them to be dangerous. So we're going to give it a, ta a tackle here and show you some of these things. Now, I am wearing this Adapt Saddle here. It also comes with a lineman belt and a tether for the tree. So you have both of those too, plus some other things that I will tell you at the end. I'm saving those for that. But talking about the saddle, we have an adjustable bridge, okay? Oh, everybody's got adjustable bridge. Yes, they do. But is it quite like this? Because here you have adjustability where you can pull this with a rope and adjust that in. Um, take that slack right up and I'll show you this on the tree too. But So you can adjust that or you can pull that again and then just lean back and then suck that slack out and make it longer. Almost like a Prusik knot type setup. So it's a beautiful setup. Now it also has adjustability up and down your loops right here, your saddle loops. You can loosen this and slide it up or down and he tells you in a brochure so if it's down here you're getting more uh, support under your butt here you're getting more support on your your waist and your hips so you can control on this anywhere on that loop you want to go and pay, paying attention to detail if you look at that not only has he got this on here and really think it also has silicone rubber set in there okay it's actually part of this whole cover so it bites it does not slide or move once you put tension on that because of this silicone impregnated right here on there on both sides it stays locked it's pretty amazing system 
so you have that on there too. Now, one thing that's really nice about his saddles too is they have two modes. Okay, you have walk-in mode and saddle hunting mode. Right now, when you put it on at the truck, I am in what you call walk-in mode. If you look at this, see how both belts are up here, okay? They are not under my butt, okay? It makes it real easy to walk in and it also causes these lineman belt loops to stick out and be very prominent right there for your lineman belt because you have both of these together, makes it real easy to find and lock onto those. And uh, these are actually, if I'm not mistaken, those are sewn with a glow in the dark stitching so they're very easy to see at night. So you can hook that right on, but this stitching glows in the dark just on the lineman belt loops. Makes it real easy. So you just shine, you oh, right there and you can see where it is. Attention to detail. Again, from somebody who lives in a saddle. So he has those on there too. Now, once you get to the tree, you're gonna slide this one down and put it into saddle mode. So now you have your upper one here and you have your lower one there and that puts that in saddle mode. And then now you have your saddle loops right here handy and easy to use where your bridge is. You still have your lineman belt loops that you can use if you want climbing up the tree or you can climb up in, in tree mode in walk mode like this and climb the tree. And then when you get to hunting height, just slide that down. Some of you guys are gonna go, well, there's no webbing right here. There's no, no material right there. You're gonna fall out. It's gonna ride up your butt like a G-string. No, it does not. Okay, I know probably a hundred people that have this saddle and they straight up love it and it's irrelevant. Do you, with, with material there, what, what is that material gonna hold in? You think you're gonna fall between these? Even if a, a saddle has material, all of the weight is on the lower webbing and on the upper webbing. The material in the middle does nothing for you. Okay, all it does is hold acorns and pine needles. It's not going to solve a feature for you. All of the, the weight bearing stuff is here and here. And he knows that. Well, with his, you get adjustability because of this center strap. So I can put it here and have that weight there. Or I can run it lower and put it down here. I can put it wherever I'm comfortable and want to. I have that total adjustability on that setup to be able to put it anywhere I want. He did that on purpose. Why? Because he hunts out of saddles for extended periods of time all the time. So he knew what he needed. Um, so it gives you that feature. So just because there's, there, there's a reason, there is no material here. Okay, no, no nylon, no net, no mesh, no nut. There's a reason that is not there on his saddle. So it's a great setup for him. Now, another couple features he's put in this too is he has a spot right on here and right on here, which is for a lot of people, he's got requesters, a lot of people that want to run a double, bri or a double bridge. They want that security of an extra bridge. He had sewn loops in here to give you that secondary bridge, which I will show you. He also has all these stitchings around here everywhere that you can lock into for any accessories you wanna put on. You have all these places all the way around here to put your little go bags and your little uh, rope kits and all your stuff that you saddle guys wear. You have options to put those on there. Now, with the, he also sells it with the tether automatically, which again, very heavily rated, very high quality. See, it's stitched together, lash stitched and set, and then shrink tubed over, and uh, just beautiful quality. So you're gonna take this, like you do with any saddle, and you're gonna put it on a tree, and then you just feed that through, feed, like, like most of them, this is no different. Okay, and you could change this to a rope man if you wanted to, or whatever you wanna do on it, but you're gonna feed that right through Pull it through like that. However, like I said, I am not a saddle hunter. Never pretended to be a saddle hunter. Never acted like I was a saddle hunter. So you have that on there, okay? And then you take your bridge and you set your bridge on there like you saddle guys do, and you're set. Again, if I don't have this adjusted right, remember, I'm not a saddle hunter, okay? Understand that. I'm showing this to you so you can make your own assumptions, but see how you can pull this bridge from here you can also adjust that bridge very easily and slide that up if you want it pulling more from the top belt here by sliding those up very simply and that rubber coating helps lock that but now I can feel it pulling from here okay if I want to come in closer I just grab this pull that through and I can be in closer okay I can keep shortening that up if I want it longer I pull this or this orange rope and just put weight on there and it lets me come out longer so I have that flexibility to be able to totally change that bridge on many levels. I can change the length of the bridge and I can change the position where the bridge is pulling from here or slide it down. So you gain a lot of options in both levels on that, which is a very, very good thing. Now, if you wanted to run a double bridge, the lineman belt that he makes for you 
amazing very lightweight it is prusik system you guys know i like the other style but that would work too for that other one but you have very big lime belt loops again that are um coated with a uh you know with uh or they're sewn with a thread that's you know reflective so you can see that very well when you're climbing and you go to hook on you know it's very easy and they stay open so it's a very nice i got the rope in away but very nice system for the lime belt loops but if you wanted to use this as a secondary bridge he gives you loops inside of here that you can take, connect that carabiner to, connect that carabiner to, and then put that right on your tether or on another one, either way you go. But you can now have two tethers on there, and then you just use the loop of this to adjust that so it's the same tightness as your other one. And now I have a secondary bridge if it makes you feel safer. And there's people out there that do. I know some that do. They want that second bridge on there for the safety factor. Again, simple Prusik knot adjustability on this if you want, or change it to a rope man, you know, whatever you want to do, but he gives it to you automatically. So this is that setup. But again, with adjustable butt on there, that butt strap, you can put that lower. I can be here like this. If later on that starts to bother me, which we'll get into that, but if it did or something wasn't right, you can adjust that up slide it up higher, run it there. You have total flexibility with this because of that adjustable rump strap, which he's had that on his other model as well too, which was phenomenal. But this thing here is just packed with adjustability. I mean, adjustable bridge is amazing. The option automatically built right in to give you that second one where you're not pulling from the same straps. It gives you a whole nother uh, separate looping system in here uh, just to reinforce that safety factor if you're somebody that wants that secondary bridge. It gives you that option to have that on there, which is nice. Now, the other cool part of this, the part you guys have been waiting for, is that John, knowing that he does and how he hunts he has other things that he's selling with this as well too that are part of it now most people that are hunting in a saddle are not sitting all day sits john does all day sits all the time and so he offered these are part of it but you're getting these with it but these are adjustable pads okay so for example if you wanted to and say you were getting a hot spot here after you did six hours of sitting and you knew that you were going to be doing an all day sit you could very easily put this pad right in here and lock it very easily in and then easy to put on and remove right there. And now you have that extra padding as quick as that right there. Well, that one's already closed, but you can see, but now I have extra padding mounted right there. I can take this one and put it on this side as well too on a top strap if I want, but I can put this padding any place I want to on this for extended sits if it's somebody if you're one of those people that gets uncomfortable doing super long sits you have these pads that are adjustable that you can put anywhere on this system that you want to if you want to put one each of them one here and one here you can do that you want them here one here and one you want to put one on this side and then one on this one because this is the side that bothers you it gives you that option so he has these and there's more sizes to it. He's got, you know, you got big ones, you got a few small ones. So he's giving you those options for you that are coming as part of this. Again, that's the reason it's called an adapt saddle. It is designed to adapt to your hunting method. So if you're going out for a two or three or four hour sit and you're going to run it just like this, you're completely fine and you'll be comfortable. If you're going to be in a rut and on a rut vacation and you're going to do all day sits, those pads might be a game changer for you and help keep you in stand a lot longer. So it gives you a lot of freedom and a lot of options. This thing is amazing. Coming off, it has simple G hooks right here on the bottom on each of the legs. Okay, they're very quick and easy to remove. And then you got a Cobra buckle right here. That harness is now off. I mean, that's it. That saddle is done right there. And if you look at this, look at the detail of this, okay? Starting from one side to the other here. But I mean, you have your rubber reinforced bridge components right there, your bridge loops, leading back to your reflective glow in the dark seamed, um, your Lyman belt loops. This is the connection for your secondary tether if you want to, that second using your uh, uh, your lifeline, or I mean your uh, lineman belt as a secondary uh, bridge, you guys call it. Like I said, I'm not a saddle hunter. These are the connections for your G-loops, okay? 100% made in the USA, sewn by one man. He builds these, two specs for you. Look at all the attachment points on there. Look at the quality of the stitching on this stuff. Just incredible. And then here is your 
sliding rump strap slides up and down both of those just incredible adjustability out of this thing hunt mode or walk-in mode you'd have it up there hunt mode you slide it down but you can fit it anywhere you want high or low rolling right around just attachment connections everywhere on this thing all kinds of attachment points i mean and then you got your main buckle here is a cobra buckle sweet simple and easy right there high quality everything made in america sewn in america by in michigan by hand by one guy i mean it just doesn't get better than that i mean this is high quality on every single level even on your your uh g hooks on here he has the sewn on adjustable slideable you know to keep the slack so you don't have any slack flapping around or blowing around you can just slide that and lock those in wherever you want them at so and talk about lightweight i mean this thing is as compact and as little as they come I mean, I don't, I'm not putting this on a scale because I don't have a scale that would probably weigh something so light. But I mean, you're talking nothing. I mean, that's, that's your saddle. I mean, you could put that in a front pocket of your pants if you wanted to. I mean, that's just incredible. Um, so there it is for you. But this is a ta the Tacta Saddle Adapt Saddle system. And it does come with the pads that allow you to put them anywhere you need for those all day sits to really make, I mean, that's a good thick pad, but that will help relieve some of the pressure. Um, all saddles are gonna be uncomfortable on an all day sit. They're, they're just, they are. I hear it from so many people. Now there's one in a hundred that says, oh, saddles are so comfortable, I sit in them all the time. Sold all my tree stands. That's what I hunt in every minute of every single day, all day long, from sun up till sundown, every single time, okay? Yeah, well, John is that guy also. And John does that with this too. John does not use these. Okay, but if you needed them, he supplies them to make it easier for you to be able to fix any hot spots you get or any uncomfortable issues. But he designed the saddle to be the most comfortable saddle that's out there and to adapt to change with your hunting style that works best for you and for your body and to do all this stuff. So um, absolutely brilliant. Again, not a saddle hunter. Never claimed to be a saddle hunter. I have less than a dozen hunts, probably well, about a dozen hunts out of saddles, and they were many years ago. But if you are a saddle hunter, I wanted you to know that this is available. There's so many different options in what you can do with this, and John builds some absolutely amazing saddles. His Anything he builds is, is top notch, because he's building it for himself. He's not building it or cutting corners or trying to solve a solution or reach the masses. He's building what works perfect for him and then he's offering it custom made to you in the size of what your body is. So he will tailor this 100% so that your waist fits, okay? So that it, it, it actually matches you. And it's funny how that stuff works and how important that is. But, it, you know, the belts will match your width so that your, uh, your Lyman belt loops, okay? Instead of being, you know, on one person, they might be here. On another person, they might be here. On a bigger person, they might be back here on the back. No. He builds it to your size spec, so everything is right here, right on that bone, right where it's supposed to be. Your um, your bridge loops are exactly where they are, so they're pulling from the right place, rather than could be pulling from here if you're a size uh, you know size 28, or it could be pulling from here if you're a 36, or it could be pulling from here if you're a 40. It's not that. He builds them 100% to match your size and your body so and and people love it and like i said he's built some saddles for some pretty pretty bigger guys you know some guys that are you know again pushing 52 54 inch waist and they're hunting out of saddles comfortably okay not many people that are are that large and i'm not saying fat guys i mean some of these guys are six foot seven you know they're just, there's a lot of guys out there that are bigger guys that want to hunt out of a saddle but they don't have any options custom built for your body specs your way and uh and like i said he sold i'll bet he's probably pushing i don't know maybe 600 of these things out there now that people are hunting out of he makes them one at a time by hand with about a two-week turnaround and uh and people love them just love them so take it from a guy that doesn't know anything about saddles but i know a lot about john and his integrity and who he is and how hard he hunts and i'm telling you tacta saddle is definitely worth taking a look at and the adapt to saddle the Tacta Saddle Adapt Saddle is probably one that's definitely uh, should be on your radar as well too. I will put links down below for you for this so you can find it and get all the information on it. And uh, John, I know he's got a couple videos. He's going to have his son in this as well too and do some. The reason I have this saddle is we were just hunting together in Georgia and I told him to bring one 
and I was going to film him in this and he would be the one doing all this explanation, showing you everything because he's a saddle hunter. So he would have done it, all that kind of stuff. Well, we just never got around to doing it down there. We were hunting too hard and we, and then the last day it rained all day. So we just never got a chance to do it. So I said, you know what? Let me take the saddle home with me. I will do this video on it and give the people the information and then, uh, you know, put your son Hunter in it and you guys do the video down there for your channel, but I will put it on mine uh, and hopefully, you know, let people know that it's available. So, and this is available right now. His original Tacta saddle is also still available, but this Adapt saddle is, uh, is an option for you and it's pretty impressive. So, definitely check it out. Information down below for you. Thanks for watching. All right, bye.